it's Charlie Grace with Charlie Grace Adventures. You know what we're going to do today? We're going to do some spring cleaning because you know what? It's time to do some spring cleaning and you get to see behind the scenes of what's in these cabinets. I've been this adventure van for over one year now and I think it's time to like sort of open them up and uh, reassess. Let's do it together. Let's go. Everything's going to fall out pretty soon because there's lots of stuff up here in here. So let's go through what exactly is in here. We're going to take it all out. So let's take it all out and so you can see it up close and personal. Here we go. So here's a knife I need to open. I never opened up yet. These are typically the things I use the most and things are going to fall. It's going to be fun. All right. Glass. Paper towels. Wet wipes. Let's see, lots and lots and lots of packets of forks, knives, and spoons, because you know, once you have them, they're really handy, really cool to have. Got have a couple extra cups. Got some cups. Okay, here we go. We've got aluminum foil. Oops, I'm sorry. I've got a, a gallon baggie and aluminum foil, which is super handy. You've got to have those when you're camping and out and about. Some more. Silverware. Ah, super important. The lovely uh, drain thing for the sink. Got to love that. Drain catcher. My favorite thing, this is definitely going back in. This is a awesome cutting board with a knife. Love this. Fantastic thing for vans. Love these really cool uh, rope baskets. Use them all the time because they're fantastic and they don't make a lot of noise. So we're going to do that. Oh my gosh. Um, little tea time shot glasses. If you know, you know. Just saying. There you go. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is my strainer. Fabulous. I love this thing. Anything that is, look at that, look at that. And it extend, extends where I think I have it, where I want to take it outside. Fantastic. You're definitely going back in too. All right. Whew. Okay. Cabinet number one. Let's take a look at cabinet number two. Oh yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's full of stuff. That's why we're doing this, right? Spring clean is important. You take everything out and figure out what you need and put it right back in. Um, here's a tool that I think everyone should own. It's from Defiance Tools. Love this. It's a barbecue multi-tool. Fantastic thing, by the way. Um, let's see what else we got up here. Oh, lots of napkins. Oh, here we go. You got to have regular plastic plates, but then you got to have um, things to put your paper plates in. This is always handy when you're doing stuff. Another rope basket. Oh, I wonder what's in here. Ooh, oh, here we go. Trivets. Oh yeah, these things are super handy for lots of different reasons. Love those. All right, what else do we have up here? Let's see. Uh, let's see what, oh, here we go. The Mallow and Me. Gotta keep these. These are the extendable, um, when you're doing your weenie roast and marshmallows, fantastic. Super, super handy. Those are, that's a keeper. Let's see, looks like we got lots and lots of tissues and, ooh, pet first aid kit. Gotta have that, really important. Gotta have that, okay? Clean supplies, Windex, good. This looks to be like maybe linens and stuff. I don't know if I went through this. Put that over there. Here we go, oh, this is fun. Oh yeah, gotta have these. Um, these are the solar lights that you get like really cheaply at Walmart for 99 cents and they last forever. You need these sometimes when you're camping in certain places. Really handy. And another container of tools, which I'm going to be reviewing this to see which ones I actually really need. So we'll check that one out. Um, got some nice cutting boards that are easy and flexible. The biggest thing is having a, like a nice bottom for this so it's not moving a lot. And lest we not forget the most important fabric detergent seat sheets. I love these things. Um, they're super handy. You just put little strips in when you're in doing laundry. Super nice, easy to carry. All right, so it looks like it's clean. Might wipe it down a little bit, stretch this out. And now we get to figure out what we're gonna put back in. All right, let's do this. All right, 
so here's what we've got so far. I've got my container that I take out all the time, has all my washing equipment in here, my seasoning and spices, that's why I use the most, so I pull it out the most, so I put that right in front. Got my strainer behind, I'm gonna have my plates to the right of this, which will be fine, I don't need, need that many plates, and all my knives and other big things in the back, I don't pull them out all the time, because I don't use them all the time. And these two containers, I've got one my silverware in here, and the other one has um, my cup that I use for soup and some trivets, which is super handy. Right beside is my cutting board, and of course here are my towels and washcloths and things if I want to clip uh, a tablecloth to outside on a picnic table, which is nice, and easy access to my paper towels. I took out a bunch of stuff here. So I'm really proud I've got this organized a little better. Now all these open spaces do have to be shoved full of something like towels or washcloths. So as I'm going down the road, it's not going to be rattling back and forth. So that's going to be the next thing. We're going to have to see how this works since I took out some stuff that I don't need anymore. Oops, I almost forgot one thing. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I have room for it. It's my collapsible silicone kettle. I love this thing. It's a really great gadget, and it does really well with making hot water for tea or coffee. So that's going to fit in very nicely right here on this side, and that's going to take up that nice space. Love it. All right, now, I know everyone's got their own way of organizing things, and I tend to organize things, one, so it doesn't make noise, and two, based on how often do I use that item. So if I'm not going to use aluminum foil all the time, it might go way in the back, but if I do use, like, my cutting board knife, like, every single day, that's way up in the front. So I tend to look at the way I pack and use things very differently uh, than some people might have in an RV, and organization is really super important, and you got to get rid of the clutter. If one thing comes in, one thing's got to go out. So right now, we're going to get rid of some stuff and go back to minimizing just a little bit. I think the one lesson I've learned in van life is that I probably overpacked and that you don't need as much stuff as you really think. It's just handy to have certain things. I wouldn't give up any of my emergency kits, whether it be my, my first aid kit or my pet emergency kit or um, my Jackery. Those are super big things. you got to have power and you got to have band-aids and things like that. But, you know, do I really need uh, shot glasses? You be the judge. <sighs> I feel better. How about you? You know, when you go through things, you start taking apart and going, what have I really been using? What do I really need? So I do a lot of uh, going out to eat in the van. Not going to lie. I do like to cook, but when you're cooking for one person, that's a little difficult because when you go grocery shopping, you only have so much room. So the things I do cook in the van are really small, like tacos and soups and things like that. So anyways, I think I'm doing much better in my kitchen organization. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you see some things that you think I'm missing, let me know too. For those of you who want to check out some of my van life essentials, I do have an Amazon store. You can find it in the description below of all the things that I've got in my van, which is really nice so you can go, okay, I know that fits. Pretty neat. So we're going to keep doing all these shelves. Oh my gosh, there's so many more to do. Spring cleaning is a lot of fun. But we're going to leave you with the kitchen uh, update today. And next time we will show you, oh my gosh, how does she store her clothes? And where does she put all the other stuff? Tune in next week and you'll find out that too. So everyone have a fantastic week. Do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified. We put out new videos all the time, at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. Watch out, you'll get something interesting. And I always put out my fun comedy videos. I try to do a short about every day. So have fun and remember, every day is an adventure. Okay, let's go to cabinet number two. Are you ready? Let's go. <sighs> okay, I feel better. I don't know about you, but this is a wonderful feeling. Hold on. Oh, Ellie, for no one's sitting there. You should never not hurt up with you. Yeah. <sighs>